Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with the Stormhammer Part 2 Magnetising All the Bloody Weapons. There you go. So the guy who wants uh, this built obviously wants the ability to hot swap uh, the LAS cannon and the multi-laser and the heavy bolters and the flamers into the side sponson uh, turrets. Um, so, you know, they're designed to fit in there, but they were never going to... Uh, stay in there just without just with gravity or just friction holding them in so uh, I'm going to use some uh, rare earth magnets so obviously you can tell I've I've primed uh, the model using Halford's grey uh, primer which you get in the UK I'm sure you get many cheap ver versions of that in America and uh, wherever you are in the world and it's just a case of just tidying up the, these little bits nothing too sinister there the multi laser which I believe that's what that is um, that's the thinnest plate, uh, so I thought if I was going to try it, I might as well do this first because it would be the hardest one. Um, so what I what I start to do is use my big sort of Hitachi screwdriver drill thing, um, but in actual fact it's too cumbersome and you can't get the control. So this is me just showing it, it would actually just fall out. If you're using that on the table, um, moving it about, it would just completely fall out, so useless. Uh, so yeah, I what I use is a sort of Dremel tool, um, and there's my little magnet uh, polarity checker. If you've not seen that, I've got a video on the channel about how to make one, and thanks to uh, the one and only Bidge for uh, showing me how to make one myself. Uh, I use it all the time. And it's a 3mm uh, drill bit, um, so my magnets are 3mm by 1mm, and that's plenty strong enough to hold on to uh, these kind of weapons. Uh, far too big for sort of space marine arms and stuff, but for tanks it's great. And obviously, so this is me uh, just drilling with the, the sort of Dremel type tool. Um, you know, I, it, didn't, it didn't cost me much, it was like 20 quid and it came with a lot of tools. Uh, and really for this is a, a godsend, but it is resin everyone, so uh, safety first, uh, so masks on uh, or ventilation or whatever it is you do. Uh, I had to hold the gun barrels part, um, which I wasn't too funky about, especially the first couple of times, but you kind of get a bit of confidence with the tool, but there was no other way to do it. Um, everything that I tried, it just it came flying off or whatever, so just uh, slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Um, you know, there's no sort of, no race required. Just gently uh, touch it like that, and it'll be all be fine. And then, obviously, uh, using your polarity checker, there you are. Easy for me to say. Um, you put a little drop of glue in, uh, super glue into the holes, and then make sure that you glue in the magnets all the way around. And watch this; they'll come flying back out and join the stack again, and get me covered in super glue. And whoop, hey, there you go. Thank you. So. <clears throat> I'm glad I don't have the sound on for that because there was much. Um, no, there wasn't because my mum sometimes watches these. There was no swearing whatsoever. I just said fiddlesticks lots of times. That's all I said, mum. I promise. Anywho, moving on. Um, so, yeah, it was a, a case of polarity check that. And then uh, you'll see my sticks got body and app appendage or app and bod. Um, so I know always that all my appendages, in this case weapons, uh, but you know dreadnought arms and things like that, would all be magnetised the same way. And it's just a case of getting some good super glue and um, basically sticking the magnet stack in and then swiping them off or um, smearing them off. I think it's probably the best way I can describe it. And then what I'm doing there is I'm pushing the, the magnet deep into the hole as I can to make it flush. Because otherwise, obviously, uh, it would sit and bobble about and we're not interested in that. You want your guns to look unbobbly. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> magnet in the, the turret part, magnet in the gun part, and bish bosh. There you go. Fits in, no bother. And in case you're wondering how sort of sticky that is or you know, whatever, I'll shake it up and down in a second to show you. And I thought, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's bang on. It is a pain uh, in the bum to have to do this. Um, but why would you go to the expense of having that tank and not have these weapons magnetised? Um, I just wish they'd cast them with holes in them to save you drilling them. I know other companies do that. Now this is a, a, just a, a standard piece of tin that uh, the real Mithril gave me. Uh, it's at the back of an old monitor, I think. And I just use bits of metal like that to store any ma magnetised weapons when I'm painting them or just when I'm storing them. 
So, as I say, that's part two of uh, about a million parts that we're going to have to do to get this done. It's a beast of a kit. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. That would be grand. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye.